How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are going to be rebuilding the Minnesota Twins. If you guys want to see another rebuild, you know what? Let's let's do it. Let's do it again. If you guys want to see another rebuild tomorrow, let's hit 300 likes on this video. As usual, guys, make sure you hit the like button. I mean, if you guys want to see another rebuild, 300 likes. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. We are almost at 10,000 subs. If we could hit that by the end of the month, that would be awesome and always in the comment section below let me know what you guys thought about this rebuild as well as which team to rebuild next in this so in the description there's all my social media links there's also my twitch channel i've been streaming a lot more recently it's a great way to just to kind of hang out talk about diamond dynasty talk about franchise talk about baseball in real life you know it's just it's a good place to go hang out so go ahead in the description go follow all my social media links so let's get into this rebuild with the twins a team that is doing really well in real life. Um, can they continue that good run of form? Can they keep can they keep that pace? Can they keep winning games? Um, can they keep performing at the level that they are? So let's take a look at the team. Because there definitely are some players that I like in this squad. Um, Jose Barrios is the main guy I want to hold on to no matter what for starting rotation. Um, the rest of the guys... I'm not really, you know, completely sold on. Anybody could stay. Anybody could go. We do have Cole Stewart and Gabrielle Moya down here who could be uh, future pitchers for us. Um, definitely uh, could be good for us. I think Moya more so than Cole Stewart just because his per nines are already very low. He might be a trade piece in the future. But when I look at this team, I think some pitchers are going to be uh, replaced for sure. We also do have uh, Bruzdar Gratterall who, I mean... His stats aren't great right now, but who knows how quickly he could improve. Addison Reed is going to get the call to the bigs 100%. Um, he's he's always good in a sim style franchise. And then when you look at Morin's stats, his are quite good as well. So he's going to get called to the bigs. Um, Harper won't be as well. Um, and then neither will McGill. McGill will get sent down. His per nines are a little bit lower than the rest. But the bullpen is actually pretty strong. Um, I kind of like it. I don't think we need to make too many changes right now. Um, catcher, we have one too many catchers in the bigs. We probably will trade one. It'll probably be Castro. I like Garver. I like Estudio. They both develop nicely. Garver can also play first base just in case CJ Crone doesn't work out. So that's an option. Jonathan Scope, I want to keep around. He hits for good power. He hits for good uh, RBI numbers. So he's a great second baseman to have. Third base, I don't want to keep Marwin Gonzalez. I don't like his contract. It's very big. Um, I'd rather let Miguel Sano play and develop, especially since he's 25 and 78 overall. Shortstop, we're set. We have Polanco. We have Gordon. We have Lewis. Uh, we could always move Polanco to second base if Jonathan Scope doesn't pan out. Or um, even if uh, Sano doesn't work out, we could keep Scope, trade Sano, move Scope to third, move Polanco to second and let Nick Gordon or Royce Lewis play short um, because we definitely have some nice prospects coming up in the shortstop position. Left field, Eddie Rosario is not going anywhere. He always does well. Um, Byron Buxton, if he can get his hitting stats sort sorted out, he'll be our center fielder, no doubt about it. We also have Jake Cave, Akil Badu, and uh, Gabriel Maciel. And then in right field, we have Nelson Cruz for a season. That's all it's going to be one season. Max Kepler, he has a pretty long contract and i'm hoping by like the third season alex kirilov will be ready um i've seen him in long-term rebuilds he gets very good so i'm hoping by season three season four we can get rid of max kepler's contract we can rely on alex kirilov being our starting right fielder so that's the team i have very little moves i want to make the first season so let's get those done and then uh, get season one started Alrighty, a pitcher that's more so so that we can win now. Rick Porcello is going to be coming in. Um, we'll see how he does. I tried to look around for other pitchers that we could acquire. And there really weren't too many. Um, I'm not really sold on uh, Martin Perez. His per nines are very low. So I wanted to get a pitcher who could help us out this season for sure. Jason Castro and Marwin Gonzalez are going to be traded. Um, it's, it's Porcello's one year deal. If he doesn't pan out, we can always just let him walk. So there's that. And because of that, we're going to have a spot opened up. And the player I want to pick up is a third baseman. I thought about getting Christian Villanueva, but I know he's playing in Korea, so it's not really realistic. So we're going to go uh, Dominguez. We're going to sign him up for two years um, for $2 million each year. 
and then um, let me get the team sorted really quickly uh, where is he Porcello Porcello is gonna be our starter here and then Perez will be sent down once I do that um, he's gonna be sent down to AAA and then he can go to A and so can Dakota Chalmers and then sure we'll do that and then we need to call up Dominguez and then that that should be it you know the lineups gonna stay the same like this um, and then for pitching rotation it's gonna look like this I mean I, I like the way it looks I think we're very strong um, we probably could use another bench bat but at the same time i'm not really like stressed about it so for now i'm okay with it if we end up needing another bench bat or like someone's bat's gone very quiet then we'll trade for one but that's season one in a nutshell um let's get to draft day season one's draft went amazing so our first pick was manny guardado he's 86 potential 70 overall great picked pitch selection i like this pick good starting pitcher for the future our next pick was mike ramirez 99 potential 64 overall there was a player there's another shortstop that i really wanted i'm gonna find him really fast um i i know exact when i see his name i'll i'll point it out he was a first he was a first round pick michael vargas i wanted this guy and he went like four picks before us for us but um, I'm, I'm really happy with our shortstop pick. He's 64 overall, um, but he's got 99 potential. So that's really solid to see. Um, next up, Pedro Chavez has 83 potential. He's a 64 overall. You guys can see the stats there. 88 potential for Guadalupe Morales. He's 57 overall, but 88 potential. That's solid to see. Um, a 76 potential player for uh, Oliver Nunez. So that's not bad, not bad at all. And then the last one I'm gonna highlight is Patrick Woodson, 72 overall with the 79 potential. So really solid draft. This was amazing. I'll see you guys um, probably at the end of season one um, because I don't feel like we need any trades right now. Season one finishes 89 and 73. We made it as a wild card team. We're taking on the Yankees in the first round of the playoffs. So let's take a look. We had a league leader. Jorge Polanco had the most hits with 2000 or not 2000, 200. And 12 let's take a quick look at the team um polanco had a great year he's up to an 80 overall 310 solid 28 home runs 92 rbis i like to see that nelson cruz uh is going down pretty quickly but he still had a monster year so i mean for his one year in minnesota that's cool that's great to see eddie rosario 260 23 home runs 93 rbis nice i like to see that cj crone um, potential's gone up, so is his overall. Similar numbers to his previous seasons, but his average went up, which is great to see. He also had more hits. Miguel Sano's up to an 82, and his potential's gone up to an A. 24 home runs, 89 RBIs, a 277 average. Awesome to see. Jonathan Scope, potential's gone down. Overall's gone up a little bit. Home runs and RBIs are there. Hits are up as well. Um, the average, 247. Would like to see it a little higher, but, I mean, the run production was there. Mitch Garver as our starting catcher. I, I like those numbers. I really like those numbers a lot. And Byron Buxton's up to a 77. Okay. You know what? Those aren't too terrible of numbers. Um, our two bench bats didn't do too bad. Let's take a quick look at the rotation. Mm, Jose Barrios got rocked a little bit. Yikes. Odorizzi, kind of. All our starting pitchers, besides Porcello, had kind of a high ERA. Um... Our bullpen, May did very well. Whips under one, ERA's under three. Um, let's see who else. Taylor Rogers did quite well. And Blake Parker did okay. So the pitching is looking like something that we're definitely going to need to look to improve upon. Um, Cole Stewart's up to at 71. Um, let's take a look. Anybody else that's kind of moved up very quickly? Um, Nick Gordon's a 71. Royce Lewis is a 69. Andrioli's a 70. Our center fielders are 65 and 64. And Kirilov's a 70. Okay, okay. So let's get into this postseason game. We're gonna quickly quick manage it. We're just gonna we're gonna see how it goes. Um, we're gonna let Barrios take the mound. He's he's still our best pitcher. A double, okay. 
Can we get the run in? We can't. I'm looking at the Yankees lineup. It looks like the standard Yankees lineup. Um, so that's that's good to see. The night like nothing too crazy has changed. Um, one run did score, unfortunately, and um, we're up against that. I mean, we're we're coming up against CJ or not CJ Luis Severino, um, who is easily the best one of the best pitchers for a franchise. He gets so good. Um, so let's see if we we can get to him and at least tie this game up soon. Barrios is pitching very well. Oh, here we go. We're, we're getting something going. Buxton gets the run in. Perfect. Um, there we go. That was that was Barrios last inning. Okay, first. Perfect. Can we get the run in? We, we don't. Oh, man. That's that's a bummer. That's a bummer. So we're going to bring in a righty. We're going to bring in Reed. Gets out of it. Perfect. Ninth inning. Can we get a run in? We don't. Bases loaded, really. Um. Oh, we get out of it. Extras. It is a double. Um, maybe a pinch runner. We don't really have anybody fast. Uh, ground out. No run scores. Double fly out. Sack fly. Game over. So unfortunately, we get knocked out in the play the first round of the playoffs in the wild card. But you know what? We made the playoffs, which is a good step. We have some good uh, areas to build on. Dodgers won. They beat the Indians, a divisional opponent. So we definitely have our work cut out for us. Um, so let's take a look at contracts very quickly. Scope is it player I'm interested in, but ooh, 12 million. Uh, um, looking at the team, we're going to bring Perez back. That's just because not for four million though can't do that um so let's take a look let's take a look let's take a look um I, the more i think about it i i don't like any maybe addison reed um we'll do three three years eight million and then looking at these stats we'll give odorizzi a two-year deal um and that's it which is kind of interesting. This actually, no. We're gonna withdraw that. We're gonna go Porcello because he doesn't look too bad, and he only wants about five million a year. So we're gonna go Porcello um, and Reed as our only two options there. Um, boom, 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 boom. Um, looking at arbitration. Everybody should get it. Yeah, everybody's gonna get it and contracts Yeah, everybody should get a contract. Yeah, everybody's getting a contract. Maybe not. No McGill won't but everybody else will so that's our off season I'll see you guys at the start of season two season two is starting with us making a big acquisition for the starting pitching spot Ryan Jeffers um, Wander Javier and then Cole Stewart is going to be traded for Luis Castillo of the Reds so let's take a quick look at some of our um, Pitching rotation. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit um, unorthodox. Um, he is a like a, a bullpen arm, formerly a starter. Fernando Romero is going to be our fifth starter. Uh, we brought back Porcello. We have Barucki from the fifth, uh, the Rule Five draft. Luis Castillo and Jose Barrios. We're going to let Mejia be that long, uh, long relief arm. We have May, Morin, Reed, Hildenberger, and Taylor Rogers, and our new uh, closer and Pedro Strope. We brought him in for a one-year deal. We just needed a closer for the year. Looking at the lineup, this is how we're looking. Um, our our DH might have to be Dominguez. Um, actually, no. Uh, let me let me figure out the lineup, and I'll be right back. All right, so this is our lineup. Um, Jorge Polanco is now our second baseman. We have Jose Iglesias for the next couple seasons until one of our shortstop prospects is ready. Um, nothing else has really changed. Williams Estudio is going to probably be our new catcher. Um, I think. Yeah, I mean, Mitch Garver didn't improve enough to take over for Estudio. Um, the other player we brought in was Lurie Garcia, just kind of as a platoon player um, to help the bench. We did bring in a couple other players from free agency. Um, one of them is... Use Neo Villarreal. Real.
he was um, available in a free agency pool. I figured besides his hits per nine, his stats look really good. He's almost a 70 at 19 years old. Let's pick him up. And that's that's about it. Um, our prospects, you guys can see 64, 64, um, 70, which is awesome. Uh, 57, 64, and 72. So that's, that's about it for the intro for season two. We got that pitcher that we needed to fill up the rotation. Um, again, I'm not too sure how this is going to go, but I feel a little bit more confident with our starting rotation. Um, I hope Barrio starts to pitch more like an ace. We got Luis Castillo, who I know develops very well. Um, the lineup, the lineup looks good. Um, I definitely think players are going to continue to increase in rating, and I think we're looking good. So let's get season two started. I'll see you guys at draft day. Season two draft wasn't as good. Um, 67 overall with the 82 potential for Angelus. Um, he's kind of the highlight of it. We have a 77 over or a potential. <laughs> Whoa, a 77 potential uh, shortstop with Lincoln Bean. Um, doesn't look too bad, um, but it's just it's another shortstop. Um, and then Henry Nieto is the the other one. 69 overall with 78 potential. Those are the three main ones for the draft. It wasn't as good as the first, unfortunately. Season two, again, we were a postseason team. This time we won the division 90 and 72. We're taking on the Mariners. Let's go see. Um, no league leaders or anything, um, but let's take a quick look through our lineup. You guys see Byron Buxton, 234, but he's up to an 87 overall. Um, pretty similar numbers from last season. Home runs uh, went up a little bit though. Um, Jose Iglesias is going down a little bit, which is unfortunate to see. Um, more hits, but his average did go down. Jorge Polanco hit 281. He's only getting better, which is good to see. Uh, home runs and run production went down a little bit, but he did kind of move up in the in the lineup last season. I think he hit fifth this year. He was hitting three, so um, he, he definitely, obviously, you know, when you guys when you're the first one one two are hitting 237. You're not going to have many time opportunities to get some runs in. Sano's up to an 88. Um, very similar numbers from last season. Almost identical. Eddie Rosario hit almost 280. It says he's going down, which I don't understand. Things are going uh, pretty well for him. Uh, CJ Krohn up to an 82. Um, okay numbers. Run production, very similar. Uh, a couple more RBIs, it looked like. Max Kepler. <sighs> he's a player I really want to replace with Kirilov. So hopefully Kirilov's ready soon. Estudio, um, 21 home runs, solid, 290 uh, average. Our DH is looking solid as well. His average went up. Uh, RBIs and home runs went up by quite a bit. Um, our bench is looking okay. Um, I brought up an extra arm in Tyler J, but um, it looks like he kind of got roughed up a little bit. Barrios still sitting at a 4 ERA. Castillo, 3.4. Barucki, okay. That's not too bad. Uh you know, like our, our two, three, four was our best and it, it's still not good enough. You know what I mean? And a four five for Romero. When we look at the rest of the bullpen, Trevor May, again, very solid season. Morin, very solid season. I think he had a rough, he had a five ERA last year. So 2.89 is amazing to see. Addison Reed, 3.25 is not too bad at all. Um, especially since he had a five last year. Hildenberger, sub three and a, a 0.98 whip. Great. Taylor Rogers, a very good season in the setup role. And Pedro Strope, very good in the closer role. Um, sub three ERA, really nice to see. Very quickly, let's take a look and see how some of our prospects are doing. Kirloff is a 72, so it's still probably another season or two before he can feature our center field prospects. Jake Cave might be a player I look to trade because he is 27. Um, and we have players who are very similar rated and younger. Um, Larnick, okay, 71, not bad. Gordon, 73, Lewis, 70, and Mike Ramirez is, is up to a, seven, a 67 already. Um, what else do we have here? Arias is a 75, so he could pot potentially be moved up as well. Diaz is up to a 68, okay. Uh, any prospects down here? Vasquez is 72, okay. And then pitching. Guardado 73, Moya 73, Gonzalez 72, Villarreal, Villarreal 72, Gratterall 72. Okay. All right. We definitely got some pitching prospects to look forward to. Looking at the playoff picture, there's that. So let's get into this series against Seattle. 
and we are in the elimination game so quickly let's quick manage this one we're gonna let Barrios take the mound lineups gonna stay the same can we get something started nope looking at the Mariners lineup it looks very similar to how it normally looks you know it looks pretty like a Mariners lineup Kepler okay two run bomb gives us the lead um no run scored after two runners get on to start the inning let's keep moving let's keep moving come on let's Barrios come on bud there we go get out of that bases loaded jam Kepler gets on nothing happens after that all righty a single can we do anything with it though no so we're still holding on to that 2-0 lead thanks to the Kepler home run things might get a little interesting here can and again runners on nothing happens uh Barrios is probably done after the seventh um he had a solid game shut out through seven uh we're gonna bring in Rogers okay kept the door closed luckily all right so we get the walk single with one out runner was thrown out but we do extend the lead to three and there it is so we're gonna bring in the man Pedro Strope and he gets us out of it and we advance, which is awesome to see. Seven shutout innings for Barrios. Obviously, we're going to have to move this. Probably probably him there. And then Porcel. No. Yeah, like that. Probably go like that. Um, just so that Barrios isn't completely dead by the time we take him. Take on the Yankees in game three. So, I don't want Romero there. So, I already messed that up. Uh, Castillo. Yeah, we'll just move everybody. There we go. There we go. Now, everything's set up. Let's keep going. Game one, we lose. Game two, we won. Game three, we won. So it's two to two. All right, game seven. Let's do this. A quick manage elimination game. We are at Yankee Stadium. Uh, do we let Barrios go? Not full stamina. Or do we let Barucky go? Who's been lights out. No, no we're going we're gonna to go with our ace. He may not be able to go the, the full time, but like a good long distance. But at, as long as he gets us, as long as he gets us like five, six innings, we should be good. Double play gets us out of it. Awesome. All right. Double play. We ruin it there. A run scores. Oh, man. That's not a good start to the, to the game. Four runs in the second. Maybe we should have went with Barucky. Um, I think they added... Brandon Belt for first, but otherwise the team looks the same. And after three, it's looking like Barrios might be done. Yeah. Uh-oh. We're in some trouble now. So we got we gotta score early. We gotta I mean not early, but we gotta score soon if we wanna be you know, any anything, you know, we wanna have a chance is what I'm trying to say. First and second one out, and we don't score. So five nothing. that 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 might be the nail in the coffin there. Um, Trevor May, two runs, seven nothing. That's the season, boys. So unfortunately, we get knocked out in ALCS. Maybe we shouldn't have gone with Barrios since his stamina wasn't full, but you know what? It's we're getting closer. We're inching closer. The Mets defeat or no, the Yankees defeat the Mets in the World Series, a battle of the New York teams. So let's go into the exclusive negotiations. We have a couple. Um, Trevor May has been phenomenal for us, so I definitely want to keep him around, um, especially for as little as he wants. CJ Crone has been okay for us, but we have Mitch Garver who can play first base. We also have Lewin Diaz who's coming up, Will and Rosario who's there. So let's take a look how much he wants. About four million. Let's do let's do a year because then that really allows the other guys to develop a little bit more. So there's that. Um, and then let's take a look at the arbitration. Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody should get it there contracts wise. Yeah, I mean, no one a big name will be leaving. So there's everything for that. I'll see you guys at the start of season three. Starting season three, the big additions were Daniel Winkler as our closer. And then Kevin Gosman for a one-year starter. I think after that, we definitely should be good with some of our pitching prospects. Um, 
yeah, some of our pitching prospects. Let's go take a look at them. Manny Guardado is up to a 73. Um, Pedro Chavez is a 67. Mike Ramirez is up to a 67 as well. Uh, Guadalupe Morales is a 60. Patrick Woodson is a 75. Um, I think that's about it. But when you look at some of our other prospects, you know, they're, they're looking good. Moya's up to a 73. Gonzalez, 72. Villarreal, 72. Gratterall, 72. Um... And we got some other names that are kind of starting to sneak up a little bit. Um, who else? Who else? Lewis Gordon's almost up there as well. Um, I think Lewis is probably another season or two away. And then the other one I'm really looking forward to. I need him. I need him to get to the bigs. Kirilov. No matter what, season four is going to be his year. So, uh, yeah, when you look at the team as a whole, it, it's only getting better. Um, not much has changed. But the team is like they're, the overalls are increasing, and that's great to see. Um, you know, and then obviously our pitching rotation here is looking it's looking pretty strong. Um, not much again, not much has changed, but it works out. You know, we've made the playoffs both years. The a ALCS was our um, final stop last year, so maybe with the addition of a, another closer, a bull and a, a stronger starter, we we maybe could make the World Series. Who knows? Um, but like I said, the lineup's the same. So let's get into it. I'm excited to see how season three treats us. And I'll catch you guys if we make any trades or anything. Season three finishes at 95 and 67. We won the division again and taking on the Yankees once again. Uh, the league leaders, Sano had the most walks. So let's go take a look at the lineup. You guys can see Buxton hit 250. Um, his best since we started doing this rebuild 14 home runs 50 rbis solid 150 hits jorge polanco went up one rating um he's back to over 20 home runs 66 rbis he hit almost 300 awesome to see eddie rosario a um, little bit of a down year in terms of average but home uh home runs rbis are still there and so are his hits miguel sano um still doing the same thing mid-20s homers 80 rbis good amount of walks this year um, so even though his average dipped a little bit, you know, he was getting the walks CJ Crone's looking like I think You know his times come, you know, he's gonna start to decrease a little bit He had his best year in terms of home runs average was great But um, we have we have Mitch Garver who is looking like he could be our, our first baseman He plays that position um, and we have it locked up for the next couple of years Jose Iglesias 247 so I think it's perfect timing because we should have one of our shortstop prospects that are ready to step in Estudio's up to an 83. He hit 280. Perfect. Max Kepler, 276. Most home runs of his career. RBIs are up there too. I mean, not bad. Not bad. And I'm trying to push him out the door so we can use Kirilov. And Matt Dominguez as our DH is continuing to get better and better. Um, so that's good to see. Um, our bench our bench bats actually hit the ball pretty well, which is awesome. Pitching rotation. Jose Barrio, sub 3 ERA. There we go. That's what I want to see. 1.15 whip. Wins and losses, 13 and 10, not bad, but still, the ERA is nice. Luis Castillo, high ERA, whip 1.3, that's a little high. Um, so hopefully that'll that'll change as he gets a little bit better. I mean, he's a 95, I guess I can't complain about it. Gosman, eh, didn't really work out. Barucky though, Barucky's looking good for a Rule Five draft uh, pickup. I'm like I'm liking what I'm seeing, and Porcello in his last year, 3.6 ERA. So. Looking at our bullpen, Hildenberger, Morin, Reed, May. Okay. I mean, everyone, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Looking at the bull. Oh, man. We got some starting pitchers coming up very quickly. Oh, we're going to have some battles for sure on who's going to be who's gonna be used. Um, Anybody here? Woodson's up to a 78. Okay. Um, And then we got Gordon, Lewis, Ramirez. Jeez, okay. Uh, Larnick, 75. Badu, 73. Kirilov, 76. So, next year. Next year, he's making the move. So, it's the time against the Yankees. Uh, okay. We face elimination after two games. So, we are home in Minnesota. Target field. We're going to let Barucky go because he actually looks really good. So, it looks like they have Simmons, Belt, um, those are the new faces. I know Belt was there last year. Um, so let's see. There we go with Glacius. Okay. Gets us a one run lead. All right. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can add some more runs. Unfortunately, we couldn't there. 
tie ball game they take the lead oh man come on no a two run shot and now it is a three run game four run game and i think uh Barucky's done three run shot okay kepler i'm like pushing you out the door but you know you're still delivering for us iglesias with this second home run ties the game come on ah, couldn't take advantage of that romero keeps it at a tie game can do it again he does a walk come on guys come on crone dang it three run shot ah man so three run game not able to do anything there it's all down to this we get knocked out all right ah <sighs> let's see who won Cardinals defeat the Red Sox. So unfortunately for us, it's just, you know, it's not working out. It's not working out. Some things are going to have to change. And uh, we should we should be in good spots. I mean, Sano definitely getting a big contract. You know, he's an 88. Gosman, we're going to let walk. Well, yeah, we got, we got a lot of young pitchers I want to get involved. Eddie Rosario. I'm thinking like a three-year deal. We get him down even more the player option okay okay uh iglesias is our our shortstops aren't ready so maybe we can find someone in free agency how'd morin do it says he's going down but his stats still look really good let's, let's do something like that um and then cj crone we, we're gonna let crone walk so um let's get into free agency here all right, so arbitration. Um, everyone, yeah, everyone looks good. Everyone looks good. And then contracts wise, it's gonna be the young guys. So we're definitely offering everybody contracts. Season four, not much has changed. You guys can see the lineup is like, uh, it's basically identical from last year. Um, the pitching change that we did make, Archie Bradley's gonna be our setup man. Um, we could always swap him out with Winkler if Winkler doesn't do too well. Um, everything else is the same um, and then we brought up Guardado and Moya to be our fourth and fifth starters I'm really excited to see how these guys do um, if they don't do well we have Villarreal, Gratterall and Gonsalves right behind them um, Coleman is a guy that was in free agency a 19 year old 72 overall guy we got Thorpe down there Little, um, Chavez we got a lot of good pitching prospects we got a couple guys in uh, the minors right here as well for relief pitchers when you look at some of our other draft picks we got woodson at 78 uh mike ramirez is 71 royce lewis is a 72 we didn't draft him but obviously i just wanted to let you guys know that we got uh larnock uh, who could potentially be brought up Bad badu who could be brought up as well and you can see kepler starting to decrease a little bit because of uh Kirilov taking over for him so the team's looking a little bit younger. I don't know if that necessarily is going to help us. I, I think it might actually hurt us. Um, but at the same time, with us getting younger, it means that we don't have to pay them as much and we can afford to put contracts towards Jose Barrios, uh, Byron Buxton. There's a, there's somebody else. Luis Castillo's coming up soon. So that way we can afford these big contracts and still keep these young guys as well. Keep a good lineup that's going to continue to grow. So this is season four. I don't know what's going to happen. I didn't show you guys any of season three's draft picks because not a single one of them had a potential above 80. It was it was bad. I think the highest was like a 76. So there's that. So season four CPUs doing the draft. Uh, yeah, let's let's see how it goes. We might have to make a trade at deadline day if things aren't going well. So I was looking at it and the more I thought about it, Mike Ramirez looks like a phenomenal shortstop for the future. Really good fielding, good arm, decent speed, but his hitting stats are so bad. Um, and this was a guy that was in the first year draft, Dan Monahan. Um, I'm thinking he may be our new first baseman um, just because his, his hitting stats look really good and his fielding stats aren't that great. We're going to trade Mike Ramirez and Jake Cave for a new first baseman. Um... So he's going to start over Garver. Yeah, I think 
that's the move for this. Um, just his hitting stats were just looked really good. And I, I felt like we might need a little bit more power. And I mean, he, he definitely adds that, that um, to the lineup. So with that being said, I think we need to send someone down now. Yeah, we do. I guess we could send. Morin. All right, let me see. No, no, no. We don't need to send more. Let's send. I feel like Royce Lewis needs to go down, unfortunately. Um, but as you guys can see, yeah, that's the lineup for season one now. Um, I don't I don't think we need to make any more changes. I think Monahan's a great addition to the team. Um, add some power to the lineup as well. So, yeah, I, I mean, I'm happy with that trade. Obviously, we lost one of our big prospects, but it worked out. That's the trade. Season four finishes us at 97 and 65. We're taking on the Mariners this time. Um, league leaders. Castillo had the best whip. Okay. And then for awards, Manny Guard. Oh my gosh, Manny Guardado won a Rookie of the Year and a Gold Glove for Al, uh, for yeah Alex Kirilov. So let's take a look. Buxton's up to a 90. His his average is continuing to get better. More home runs, more RBIs, more hits. Perfect. That's what I want to see. Um, he's he's looking like a good player for us. Polanco still doing the same thing. You know, 60, 66, 69 RBIs, 20 home runs, close to a 300 average. Perfect. Exactly what I want. Rosario's only getting better, even better. Like that's awesome to see too. Good home runs, good RBIs. Sano, he's going up too, even though his average went down. More RBIs, more home runs, um, similar amount of hits, but he's producing. Monahan, 86 overall, potential's gone up as well. He hit close to 300, 31 home runs, 107 RBIs, 171 hits. Estudio's an 84, La Tortuga is just, he's consistent. 20-ish home runs, 60-ish RBIs, that's what I want to see. Kirilov's up to an 84 after one season. 300 average, 26 home runs, 82 RBIs. A crazy good right fielder for the future. Max Kepler was kind of like our DH, and then Nick Gordon's up to an 81. He hit 207 though, which isn't which isn't fan, which isn't that great. Mitch Garver is our like bench bat. Did well, did very well. Um, let's take a look at the pitching. Barrios kind of a high ERA. I don't understand why he's fluctuating so much. Um, his stats are like amazing. Luis Castillo, 238. ERA, he had 233 uh, strikeouts, amazing year. Barucki, you know, he's been consistent for us, been amazing. Guardado, 20 and eight on the year. Oh man, 359 ERA, that is a solid rookie season. 225 strikeouts and Gabriel Moya, around a four ERA. But you know what? I mean, I'm cool with that. I like, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Bullpen here is a little rough. Um, but everybody else, everybody else lights out. Amazing to see the back half of the bullpen is doing quite well. Looking at some of our other starters, we got Gratterall who could potentially move up to this spot. Um, Via Royale's in 80. Yikes. Um, anybody else? Anybody else? Uh, Lewis is up to a 76. Okay. Um, Larnock is a 78, so he could be kind of our backup outfielder. Um, instead of Kepler. So let's get into these playoffs. Let's get it. Let's see how things go All right, we're facing elimination Already, it's it's just it's just not meant to be I feel like we're just it's just not meant to be uh, you know what? I Want to see I want to see the the young man. I want to see the rookie see how he's feeling We get a walk with Polanco nothing happens. All right all right, cool. We get out of that. A double for Monahan, first and second. Runner was thrown out, but we do get a run. We do get a run, so that's good. Um, they do get it back though. But all right, so we we limit that. All right, cool, cool, cool. Come on, guys, get the run in at least. Ah, Kirloff walks Estudio. Someone's got to get these runs in. Runner was thrown out at home. Awesome. Okay. Pitching change in the fifth. Can we take advantage of it? No. I'm going to let Guardado go. There we go. I was going to say, I'm going to let him go for this inning. Um, so there's there's that. Maybe one more. I got greedy. I got greedy. It worked out though. Double play. Run scored. I got greedy again. I completely forgot I said I was going to take him out. 
Okay. Cool. Cool. Get the out. Perfect. All right. We're down one ninth inning. This is on me. If we lose, it's on me. That was on me. I completely forgot that I was taking out the pitcher like a like an idiot. That was dumb. That was dumb. Guardado though, two runs. That entire game. That that's good to see. The guy is going to be lights out for us. Let's you know I, the Dodgers won. Whatever you know. I I'm feeling good though you know we got some young players so let's take a look at this contract situation i don't know if, can we afford this <laughs> um i don't know if we're gonna be able to afford all these um this this is gonna get dangerously close um rogers is still pitching well this is he gonna want a lot maybe like a a one-year deal can we can we get it down a little bit i think we're addison reed i think is Man, he got better. Dominguez is done. Addison Reed, do we just try to sneak out another year with him? No, we 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 don't. So we're gonna we're gonna go with those three. Ah, man. Um 40 man rotation, probably Gonsalves and Larnock. Looking at arbitration. If we can afford them all, we're going to go with it. Contracts-wise, it's going to be a lot of young guys, so we should be okay. I just don't think we're going to be able to sign any free agents. Alrighty, so to open up some more cap space, we're going to be trading for Paul DeYoung. I, I, this, it's been a while, right? It's been a while. Um, I'm just not sold on Nick Gordon, and I feel like we can get a little bit better hitter. We can get some more cap space just in case we, we run out with all these big contracts. We're getting rid of Max Kepler. Paul DeYoung, welcome to the Twins. Alrighty, season five. The only change is Paul DeYoung's added it to the lineup. Everything else is the same. You guys can see the lineup here. Um, for some reason, Guardado's not an 80. So, like, Gratterall's kind of a player I want to get involved. Real looks really good. Um, so, we'll have to see how things go. Um, you guys can see, like, that Coleman guy that we signed is kind of getting high. Chavez is getting high um Mieto, Angeles like we got we got a lot of good pitching prospects coming up um looking at the rest of the lineup though you know I think Monahan was a uh, the right move to go and pick him up and then um the rest of the team here so I feel like actually hold on I think he needs to go to triple a and we need to bring up this guy because he looks pretty good he moves down. Mm. Oh well, we're we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it. So this is that that was the team. Let's see how season five goes. Alrighty, so season five finishes with us being 96 and 66. We won the division, taking on the Red Sox. Um, it looks like we got a couple league leaders: Baraki with the best ERA, and Barrios with the most wins. Awards: Barrios won Cy Young. Really? Okay. All right. Because last I checked, his ERA, again, was in the fours. So it looks like he had a really strong second half. So Luis Castillo, sub-3 ERA, 1.15 whip. Like, he is like a go-to pickup if you need a starter. Um, Jose Barrios, this, those are good numbers. Those are solid numbers. Good amount of strikeouts as well. Baraki, he just keeps getting better and better. He, Who would have thought a Rule 5 draft pick would have stuck with us since season two and done so well gabriel moya might be a player that we find a different uh prospect to step into and manny guardado 3.77 era wins and losses weren't as good as the previous season but i mean he's only gonna get better he's got a really good pitch selection too man that was those are some nice stats trevor trevor may had a rough season um but our setup and closer who lights out looking at the lineup Polanco probably had his worst season. I think he's only got one more year on his deal anyways. But, you know, it's a little bit of a down year. We put him in the leadoff spot. Probably not best suited for him. Um, Eddie Rosario, in terms of, like, his normal production, it's still pretty good. Um, Monahan is a monster. Holy cow. Uh, Miguel Sano, crazy numbers as well. Paul DeYoung. A little, a little down, a little down, I would say. Alex Kirilov, holy cow, like he's going to be a really good right fielder. He's only an 82. I don't understand why. 
Uh, Buxton still hit around that 260 mark. Estudio, 250 still. And Larnock in his first kind of full year is like a DH-ish player, 260. And looking at our bench, bench was pretty quiet. Um, looking at our prospects, Villarreal's moving up very quickly. He'd probably take over for Moya. Um, so, okay, that's that's something to look out for for the future. Um, Badu. Um, everybody else is kind of, you know, established at this point. So, okay. Some really good players on the team. Let's see how things go here. We're really going to get knocked out again. Are we really going to get knocked out again? Going to Fenway. Uh... Wow, Castillo got rocked. All right, we're going to Guardado. We're sticking with him. The young guy looking. Oh, we're going against Trevor Bauer. Okay. All right, so they got Starling Marte, Wong, Hoskins, Judge. Whoa. And Ciarte, so definite changes in the team. And Aaron Judge gives him a 2-0 lead. We do get one back. Estudio's on third. Somehow got a triple. Um, so we're down one. Can we get the run back, though? That's the question. Can we do it? It's, so far, we're we're struggling. So they get they get that two run lead back. We gotta we gotta score. Guardado, I mean, three runs is not bad. Like he's pitching well. We're just we're not getting the bats going. That's that's the big thing. Um, gets us out of that. That's his last inning. Can we score? Come on, guys. All right, we get one back, so we're only down one. There it is. Tie game. We have the lead, so Guardado's, Guardado's done. We're not we're not messing around anymore. We're going to bring in... Uh, we'll bring in Hildenberger. Perfect. All right, cool. Can we do it here? Come on. Winkler. Winkler! You're just supposed to hold the fort down until we get to the ninth and we don't blow the game. All right, a walk, a walk. Come on. Yes, Paul DeYoung coming in clutch. All right, three-run lead. Estudio opens the door. Um, perfect. That means we don't have to use uh, Archie Bradley. We got a five-run lead. Let's just end it here. Let's end it here. Let's end it here. All right. Yikes, 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 yikes. All right. Let's do this. Target field. Um, Cass Barrios. We're going to go Jose Barrios. Not a good start. Double play. Gets out of it. Uh, not the best of starts, but, I mean, he got out of it, I guess. Um, we're not getting the bats going at all. Holy cow. Three innings. Fulmer's going perfect. Eddie Rosario. There we go. That's what we needed. Sano as well. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome, awesome. Let's keep it going. Come on. Keep the bats going. Sack fly. There we go. There we go. Breaking it open. That's what I like to see. Now we just got to have five innings. That's all we need. All right, cool. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. So we're going to take him out. We're going to go to Morin. One run scores. Sack fly. Okay, so three run lead. Four run lead. We're looking good. Um, eighth inning. We're going to give Winkler the, the job again. This time he does what he's supposed to do. And going into the ninth, Archie Bradley just to be safe. Boom, we actually moved on to the ALCS. That's what I like to see. Going against the Mariners. Um, we're gonna move him down one spot. And then we're gonna go, yeah, we'll go like that. We'll, we'll just go like that. Let's see how things go. Game one, we lost. Game two, we won. Ah, oh, come on, we, got, we can't go down again. Um. We got a, Castillo's been a little roughed up this postseason, but looking at the Seattle lineup, they got Lindor, Gallo, Mancini. Jeez. All right, good double play there. Solo home run by Polanco. Perfect. Good lead to start the game. 
All right, can we at least get an insurance run? All right, there's the insurance run. Bases are loaded. Come on, guys. Double play, bases loaded. Really? Oh, Eddie Rosario. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Four runs. Five runs. Perfect. Luis Castillo went... Eddie Rosario's on fire. Byron Buxton makes it 9 nothing. Are you serious? All right, so that's the inning. Jorge Polanco adds. Eddie Rosario adds another. Jesus. All right, we're going to let Castillo go. He went nine shutout innings. Whoo, complete game shutout. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's keep it going. Um, Rucky, yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's keep those hot bats going for sure. All right, at least we got one. We got one that time. Runner was thrown out. No run scores. Perfect. Single two-run bomb. Alex Kirilov. He's looking really good. Lindor gets one back, though, so it's a two-run game. Um, I'm watching the stamina, making sure, because it's do or, do or die time for sure. First and second. Come on, guys. Get the run in. Ooh, it's a one-run game. Okay. All right, so that was... He's done. No, Not taking any chances. Um, he's done. String of righties coming up. Let's go Hildenberger. All right, cool. Still holding on to that one run lead. Come on, guys. One more run. That's what we need. All right. Beyond, Larnick, Garver. All right. Archie Bradley, do your job. He does it. Tie series. Tie series. Whoever wins is taking on the Mets in the World Series. Um, Rios is kind of tired going against Yusei Kikuchi. Can we do something with that? All right, so we got a single, nothing happened. A walk, okay, two walks. Come on, Polanco, Monahan, man, bases loaded, one out, fielder's choice, no run scored, perfect. And then Sano goes and gives us the lead. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on. We might have to go to like a, a bullpen committee to kind of finish out this game. There we go. I, I'm going to I'm gonna call it there. I got to be safe. Um, string of righties coming up. Let's go Morin. All right. Whew. Carter Caps is in. Double. Buxton. Polanco. Anybody? Come on. Winkler. Winkler. Stop doing that. Please. First and second. Rosario, come on. Please. Please, 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 please. Grounds out. Extra innings. First and second, no out. Just move the runner. Thank you, Sano. Thank you, Sano. All right, Archie Bradley. I know you're... Sano does it again. Uh. Uh. We're really going to do this again? We're really doing this. You got to be kidding me. You use two blown. Ugh. All right, well that that's that's how it goes. That that's just how it goes. The Mets won the World Series. Really, Winkler, you let me down twice. You let me down twice. That's disappointing. But that's that's how it's gonna end, guys. I like this team. You know, uh, Polanco's got one year left. Uh, Rosario, I think, has got what two more or one more after this year. Monahan's a beast. He looks amazing. Sano's locked up for a good long time. I think Paul DeYoung's got one year left on his deal. Kirilov's going to be a, a good future star. Buxton's locked up for a few years. 
Estudio is still decent for a catcher at this point. You got a lot of good young players. Most of your pitching staff is uh, locked up for the future. Castillo goes into a contract this year, so it'd be difficult to afford him. But I really like this Twins team. Unfortunately, we couldn't make the World Series ALCS twice. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's rebuild. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Remember, another 300 likes and we'll have another rebuild for tomorrow. And in the comments section, what am I missing? Yeah, comment section. Make sure you let me know how, what you thought about it, who we should do next. I already said that. I did already say that. Guys, let's hit 10,000 subs before the end of the month. That would be awesome. That would be a great, that'd be a great gift for me. I really appreciate all the, the support you guys have been giving to the channel. So let's try to hit 10,000 subs. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.